Hi everyone, this is I Discover Ron. Today we're going to get a tour of uh, uh, probably one of the most iconic uh, avenues in, in the Middle East, uh, Chahar Bagh Avenue in Asfahan. We're going to walk through the streets and show you different highlights and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this video. Follow me. Okay, so to start with, uh, there are five different Chahar Bagh Avenues in Asfahan. This is the most famous one, Abbasi. Chahar Bagh and today is a Thursday night, a weekend, so it's very busy. Uh, just to give you an idea, so the famous Siusapul Bridge is just a few steps away from this place. And make sure to watch our other video about this bridge. And then this is uh, Niasarm Bridge. Now there is no water now and the stream, the Niasarm stream, sorry, I think I just mentioned Niasarm bridge, Niasarm stream, there is uh, no water now, but we've made a video on this a stream previously uh, where it was filled with water. The, the street itself is amazing. It's like stepping back in time. It's quite magical. And then you see there is a tiny stream in the middle of the street which uh, adds the joy that people will have when walking in this street. So uh, if you look around, you're going to see different people, different shops, cafes, restaurants and hotels. There are a few uh, iconic places that we're going to walk before we lose the daylight. We're near to the uh, sunset now are probably about 15 to 20 minutes away from the sunset but we're going to show you different iconic places that you can visit one was obviously Siusapul Bridge which was just a few uh, hundred meters away from the street the uh, the other one that we're now reaching is a very uh, famous street in Aswahan uh, crossing Charbal Avenue that a street known as Abbasabad Avenue or Abbasabad Street is also quiet, iconic and beautiful. You, you, you're you're going to see long uh, trees. I'm sure if I can show it from here because it's a, it's a bit far away, but there are quite long, probably 200, 250 years old trees reaching the sky. And then there is this uh, famous iconic restaurant in Esfahan, Shahzad restaurant that you see just a few steps from here so make sure to try the uh, Persian food in Shahzad restaurant in Esfahan. So you can easily reach uh, this street with public transport. The street is close to cars and motorbikes but you can easily reach different sections of this street uh, using Esfahan's metro that's quite cheap and uh, convenient. We, we will make a video about Asfahan's metro in the future. We've already made one on Tehran's metro, but we're going to make one about Asfahan's metro as well in the future. Now, walking towards north, you're going to reach uh, uh, Imam Hussein Square, but on the way, it's, it's quite enjoyable. You see this tiny stream there, there lots of cafes, ice cream shops, restaurants and people enjoying their time, people and families enjoying their time here in the street. Now if you walk uh, closely towards uh, towards uh, the towards let's say the north side of the street we're gonna reach uh, Chaharbagh Theological School which I think we made once, once we made a, a short video on the school. So I will just show you once we reach that historical building. And uh, I'm gonna explain a bit about that building once we reach there.
Okay, so here is the famous Chaharba Theological School. This place was built around uh, almost 400 years ago during the late Safavid era. It's not usually open to tourists, uh, local or foreigners, it doesn't matter. It's only open when the religious schools are closed. But uh, the, the locals can visit this place, or the Muslims can visit the place during the uh, prayer time, where you can hear the call for prayer and then they open up the doors. But you can enjoy this uh, huge dome from outside or the gate, which is only a few steps to the left. Uh, and then uh, one thing to mention is that the famous uh, Shah Abbas Hotel, which is known to be one of the oldest hotels and the ward is just a few meters away from, from where I'm standing. Uh, it's, it, it, it's been a caravansarai during the Safavid era and then it was repurposed to be a hotel in the late, uh, uh, I think, 70s or, or 60s. Uh, so it's, it's probably one of the best hotels in Asfahan. And then there are a few more hotels located in this street, Abbasi Chaharbagh, as well as uh, the other Chaharbaghs, like Chaharbagh Street, uh, towards the north, which you can probably stay in. It's probably the best place to stay uh, in Esfahan because you're near to many of the attractions. You can easily reach the public transport, and then you can enjoy the nightlife like what we're doing at the moment uh, this is this street is uh, well I visited many cities in Iran and in the world and without any bias I can tell you that this is probably one of the most beautiful streets especially since they closed it to to vehicles around 10 years ago it has a very peaceful environment now and locals you can experience the culture you can see different peoples walking to in the street during the weekends and during uh, the, the holidays, especially, it's quite a busy street. But uh, what, what is really uh, interesting is that it has turned to be a, a hot touristic spot for locals, for the local travelers and for foreigners. And there is dedicated lines for the bikes. You see the bike coming now towards us and lots of shops excluding the cafes you have including the cafes you have closed shop clothes uh, gold bazaar which is just a cute few meters now today it's closed but a few meters from here that's that's also that was also built during the safavi era okay so here's the call to prayers here at charbagh avenue and asfahan Okay, so this was only a quick uh, walking tour of this famous avenue and there's still a lot that can be explained about the history, about the culture, about different stages of that, this street has passed throughout the history but uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and stay tuned for our future adventures thank you very much